Give me a second, guys. I'm getting everything together here. Let that um, build up a little bit. Hey, James, how you doing? Evening. How is your weekend going? Hey, Josh. I'm going to show a quick, hopefully quick, tutorial on how I do. I'm trying to get this light. Let's see if I can do it without it. Yeah, I probably can. Um, these cameras, man, when something's white, it just um, doesn't uh, play nice. All right, gentlemen. What do we have on tap here today? Well, I wanted to talk a couple of things about um, the Styrene Syndicate. Um, we have the group bill going. It is, uh, give me a second, I forgot something over here. Okay, we have the Styrene Syndicate um, uh, group bill going on right now with Styrene Syndicate and Red Dragon Model Works. It's the Shelf Queen group bill, and that is hosted by the Styrene Syndicate, but it's sponsored by the Basement Modeler, uh, Baltazar Medina. Now, if you guys have, uh, we haven't had an update on that in a while, and I'd like to update you guys real quick on it. The Shelf Queen group build is, um, again, sponsored by Baltazar Medina and hosted here um, by the Styrene Syndicate and also the sister page, um, the mother page, Red Dragon Model Works. Um, and the Balt uh, Baltazar Medina is the basement modeler uh, YouTube page. Also, we have uh, my brother here, also, Scale Model Kit Review, that's Steve Sutton. If you guys aren't uh, subscribed to his YouTube page and his Facebook page, please, by all means, I, I encourage you guys to do it. So the, the group build is going, um, it's going to run till the end of the year. Um, so I believe uh, right after Christmas, either January 1st, we'll announce the winners of it. Now, there's going to be three prizes, guys. There's a first, second, and third. Third prize is a $10 um, Amazon gift card. Second place is a $20 Amazon gift card. And the first place will be a $30 Amazon um, gift card. Now, the, the rules for this is... On the Styrene Syndicate Group Bills page, that's the page that we have. Um, I believe it's linked at the top. The page we have that is specifically for group bills. It's not for everyday uh, posting. It's so you can make a folder with your work. You put it in there. Um, you title it. And everybody can, anybody that's a member of that page can go in there and see from the beginning to, you know, all the steps that you guys go through with these group bills. It's not for everyday uh, posting, guys. So, you know, don't don't feel bad if, if uh, and please don't take it personal if uh, I or um, one of the moderators or admins go in there and remove your post and bring it here to the to the main page. It's, it's, it's nothing against you guys. There's no slight. It's just that that page, we try to keep it clutter-free just for your work. So again, we have the, the Shelf Queen group build uh, hosted by Styre Syndicate and Red Dragon Model Works and also by, by the accompanying uh, people, which would be like Scale Model Kit Review. He's an admin here, uh, Cast Works, and the, the, the sponsor of it, the basement modeler, Baltazar Medina. Um, yeah, David, I'll get to that in a second. So what are the rules? The rules are this here. It's a shelf queen group build. It can't be something that you guys have just uh, uh, started yesterday or a week ago and left it and then came back to it. It has to be something, well, something that you've started working on. You put it on the shelf. You walked away from it. Months later, you're like, hey, man, you know, let me go ahead and, and, and finish this. That's what we mean by that. It's something that, that bore you or that you lost interest of in, in the past. And it can be anything, guys. It can be a car, sci-fi, armor, figures, anything but it has to be a shelf queen you know something that 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 falls into those uh those parameters 
the second thing is you, you need to you need to have a folder a um a build folder starting with the first picture showing that that is something that it was started and sitting around um something that you're coming back to you know you want to finish it and then you know you show a picture of it in its in its uncompleted state and then from that moment on you know just at, upload some some photos as you go along you know with the build title your folder you know stuff you know group build you know and then whatever you know ss group build and then you put in there you know whatever your whether it's a car or whatever you know you the, whatever genre it's in and specifically you know you can go ahead and you can comment on what it's all about the reason we do that is so the people that are going to be judging this meaning uh here um the admins and myself we're going to be judging these so we want to go from the beginning, see the, the kit, and see how you progress, you know, and how it, it went along. And it's easier to do it if it's all in one place under one folder. And for those that don't know how to make a folder, it's very easy. When you go to upload a photo or a group of photos, it gives you the option at the top here to either to make an album. So you make an album, you title that album, and that's where you'll upload. So anytime you go to upload more photos for that specific uh, build, you click on album, you find the album that you created for it, and you drop your photos in there. So I just wanted to remind you guys of that. I'm going to talk to the boys uh, sometime this week, and I think um, I'd like to start another group build. I don't know yet. I want to pick their brain on it, but something that will carry us into the rest of the year also and maybe give a prize for that. The other thing is um, it's been long. We haven't had a show in a while. And it's time to ramp it back up. I talked to the boys. You know, they're, they're itching to go. So next Saturday at 3 p.m. Central, 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern, uh, and I believe it's 9 p.m. Uh, across the, the pond there, we're going to have our Styrene Syndicate uh, bench chat show, and it will be on the Styrene Syndicate YouTube page. I'll leave the link uh, in this uh, description. If you're not a member of that, please come and subscribe to that. Um, so that's where the, the we'll do it live, and we'll be able to have questions like you do on a live feed on YouTube. Um, so that's that's the uh, the the things that we uh, also encourage you guys. You know, there's a few people here that uh, you know our friends that are going through uh, you know some health problems, and I just keep those brothers in mind. You know, um, you got people you know like brother Chris Cortell. You know, he's fighting. Um, um, some cancer there. He seems, you know, doing pretty good. You know, he's got, um, he's a fighter. So just want you to, you know, you keep that brother in mind. He's a big part of our community. So, um, yeah, just keep that brother in mind, you know. So, again, it was, this was just an update. You know, the, I, I want to thank each and every one of you for all the support that you've given me here at Red Dragon Monoworks or that you have um, here at the Stivey Syndicate, you know. I've been kind of quiet as of late because I've been spending a lot of time with my grandson. As far as like YouTube videos, I've been spending a lot of time with my grandson. Um, I, I hear this all that I got chased off of the internet and I'm, <laughs> that's a joke. But I'm not going to get into that. It's just, you know, life gets in the way, guys. So I'm going to start ramping up the, the both pages a little bit more now. Try to keep them drama free. That's what this is all about here on our page. We don't involve ourselves in all the beep, beep, beep of the community. We just want to build a damn model. So now what today's uh, thing is about is um, you guys um, all seen this. I, I've posted pictures of this and it's the, the base itself is done. Um, I finished this base. You know, I'm, I, I got the figures. I just need a, a couple more touch ups on the figures. But I've been asked a lot about how I do this, you know, the marble work, you know, what my process is of doing it. Now, you know, when I sit down to do it like that, you know, I've, I've got an image in my head, but I don't have it planned out. It just free flows. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it here. Now, I preferably, I, I enjoy using, uh, for, for that kind of work, I'll do um, oil, but I'm starting to use a lot more acrylics. So I'm going to show you guys on this little piece here. This is a scrap piece of uh, sheet styrene that I have laying around, you know. So I want to show you guys, um, I, I, I was testing a, a needle. I had uh, bent it, and I was fixing this. I was testing it to see how it sprayed. 
So that's what I'm going to do. And here, that's better. Uh, that white, the lights are blue, you know. So these were some test patterns that I had done uh, checking a needle to make sure it sprayed right and there wasn't any skips on it. But it's ideal for what I'm about to show you guys today. So let me turn that light back on. So what I want to, I'm going to go to these some of these uh, uh, comments real quick. You know, acknowledge everybody that's here, and then we'll get to work here. What I'm going to use here is I'm going to use a variety of different colors. It's all going to be acrylic, so we have uh, a neutral gray. We have a light gray. We have a, a, a sand brown, um, some reaper. Where is it? It's a volcano, a vol volcano brown. Um, there is... An ink, which is a green, a black green, uh, a dark tone from War Painter, Army Painter, and then uh, a sepia. So, this I shot this here with uh, the Patriot 105, and you know when I the needle that I was testing earlier today was the one here in my Badger Chrome, because what I do is. I cut, uh, anybody that has a Badger Chrome that comes with the little prongs there, I cut them off, sand that down so I can get at that needle when I'm picking at that needle, you know. So the problem when, when you do that, though, is you don't have any protection for that needle. So if you drop your airbrush, which I did, and I bent that needle, and I used my um, my needle, the thing that fixed the needles, I used that from Sharpen Air, and I fixed um, the needle. Anyway, let me get to these comments. We have uh, James Skiffin. In house, evening, James. Of course, Joshua Rydam. Little Joe, how you doing, bro? Uh, Philip uh, Ramscar. Hello, Philip. How you doing, brother? Um, we also have. Uh, give me a second here. James Skiffin says work uh, weekend nearly over. Work most of it. Uh, early start for tomorrow. Gil, you have a good weekend. YouTube, my friend. YouTube. Um, Josh is uh, talking to Minnie. What up, David Sean in the house, Mr. Mini Dreams. You guys, man, Minnie does a um, uh, some live feeds on his uh, uh, YouTube page, Mr. Mini Dreams. Shows you what he's working on with cars, how to cut things up, how to, how to modify them, you know, the tools he uses. He gives shout-outs for products that he uses, you know, for ScaleWorld.net, you know, and other people. You guys check him out, man. He's on YouTube. He also has a, a Facebook page. Um, if many, if you go ahead, if you don't mind, many, put your uh, your uh, link to your uh, Facebook page right here in the comments. Minnie's a good friend, uh, great supporter. I support everything he does. He's a good man, you know, drama free. You guys check him out. So that's David. That's Minnie. Um, he's uh, he also says right here, which I was going to mention, webairbrush.com is having a Labor Day sale on a lot of airbrushes under a hundred bucks. When you go to when they have those sales like that, guys, you cannot use the Red Dragon uh, code because they're already giving you a heck of a deal, so you can't use that. Um, he's also say, saying hello to Josh. He's talking about his 3D projects. They looking nice. Josh and him are going back and forth. Oh, let's see. Joe's talking about meatloaf. Meatloaf. Uh, David says, uh, I want a Mac. A Mac? Do you have any files yet? Okay, David says, my latest raffle, Gil, we raised $255 for our friend, the Nerd Life. I plan to do a 50-50 raffle every six months to donate to builders in our community. Um, brothers, you guys check that out. He does a good job. What he does is he raffles off some cars that he's had, uh, that he's done. Um, or um, things that people donate from the community. They raffle it off, and the money goes to community members that need it. Um, it, it doesn't go to enrich him. It doesn't go to enrich anybody in the community. Um, what many does is, is, is um, he, he's doing the saints work out there, brother. So he's helping out brothers. In the, if, there, if there's anything we can do, uh, many, you know, get a hold of me, man. If there's anything, uh, um, I mean, if there's anything you'd like me to donate, you know, I've got a couple of, things here that possibly I could donate to you, but we'll talk about it um, off air. Um, he's got on, a, he, right at the bottom in the comment section, it's off to my right, he's got Min Mr. Mini Dreams. That's the name of the Facebook page, and it's also the name of the YouTube page. 
We got Jonathan Kaminsky. Hey, Gil. Uh, late to the party. Hope you are well. Thank you, Josh. I really appreciate it. All right, let's get to work. What I'm going to be doing is just doing a quick overview on how I do this, guys. Okay, let me raise this up. Just I'm trying to get this uh There it is. So you guys can see what I'm doing. This, this light, man, I swear there. Maybe that's better. Let's do that. Yeah. It doesn't matter what I do, man. The light's going to play off of this white. But I'll try to, to get this so you guys can see it a little better. Um, raise that up. I got to get this camera out of my way. All right. For this, I'm going to use, I was going to use my broken toed brushes. Um, I'm not going to use those, but I'm going to use this. I'm, I'm looking for my liner. I don't know what I did with it. Um, I have what's called a liner brush that I use. Um, is it in here? And that's for um, for veining. You know, when you want to put the veins in, in, in the... And I'll show you. Most of you guys know what a liner is anyway. Um, I don't know what I did with it. I had it yesterday, and I was cleaning all my tools out. And I, I've got about three or four buckets like this of... Uh, paintbrushes and I don't know where I stuck that liner um, it might be in the other room there but let's see let me see let me see let me see let me see it might even be in here these are all all these I've got separate uh, brushes because I don't use them for it for uh, here's one liner that I can use um, I got a better one that's the one I'm looking for I think, um, well, we'll just use that one for now. I can't find what, oh, there it is. Hold on, I'm sorry. It's over here, I think. Um, let's see. I've got some for oil paints. I don't, I don't mix my, my brushes. Um, so I try to keep them separate from each other. You know, like uh, the ones I use for oil paints, the ones I use for uh, acrylics. I can't find my liner. I don't know what I do with it. All right, well, let's there. Uh, we'll use this one as a liner. This one right here. So until I find my my um, the liner that I always use. All right, here we go. Now you can use a. Um, I gotta have the light, guys. Now you can use a wet palette. Um, I've got one here off to the side, right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, you know, I'm trying not to get all this. Uh, I should have got another palette together. So there's my wet palette. So what I'm going to do is I think uh, I'll start out. Now, these are some games and gear brushes. Um, they're not bad. I've abused them pretty bad. So that's this is these are the ones that I normally use when I do, uh, like when I add inks and stuff, I use these. So they're pretty cool. I got, you know. So let's see. We'll use a size one. We got the size one, and then I'll use the zero. So these two are the ones I'm going to use. All right. Now again, like I said, you can use any paint. Um, I'm going to start off with a darker gray, which is this right here. As a matter of fact, I, I'm not. I'm not even going to use this. I'll use this. It's a lot easier for me, at least. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's more. I got more than that, too, bro. I got them laying all around. I just, you know, there's about four or five more containers full of them. Um, whenever I go, like, to Hobby Lobby or something, I'll pick up some brushes here, a brush here, a couple here, a pack here. Um, I got my Windsor and Newtons and my Raphaels behind me. Um, those are just, you know, you pick them up cheap at a Hobby Lobby. It's not something uh, that's going to break the bank. All right, here, this is what I'm going to do, guys. So I'm going to start out with the gray. So I'll add a little gray right here. Not much. And then um, just some water. I'm going to thin that. So I'll add maybe one, two, two drops for now. We'll start off with two. This here is used to clean my brushes. This is a sponge inside here, and it's wet. So you'll see what I do. I usually, when I'm painting and I go to clean, I do this, you know, and then I'll reshape the brush. 
So we're going to thin dish real good. Just like so. And then I'm going to start like here on a line. So what I'll do is I'll just put a whole bunch like this, wet it, and then I come in. It's a wet brush, and then I start mixing it, just doing this. You want to add that cloudiness. I, I clean my brush off, and I leave, you know, just come in. You do that. Then uh, let's see. Let's go here, like so. Clean that brush. Get some water. You got to do this so you know. Make sure it doesn't dry on you guys. It doesn't look like much right now, but it will. And you keep working it. And you see, I'm, I'm trying to keep that hard edge because that's what I'm going to use for my hard edge. Now I'm blending it in. I don't want it too much there. I keep drying. Oh, I'm sorry. I got a, a paper towel off to the side here. And I clean, I clean my brush. Get it wet. I come in. And you see, I push up and down, up and down, just gently. Some parts I want bigger, you know, just, you know, take a look at some of the, some images of, uh, of marble and give you an idea of what to do with it. And then the rest of this, see how you just, you just want to blend that in. Just come down, blend that into things. You don't, you want a random pattern. You don't want it to look uh, uniform. So you just want to come in like so there's different ways to do this guys I'm no expert um, I don't think I know everything this is just the way I do it um, there are other ways to do this if you can find a better way that suits your painting technique by all means man have at it so I'm gonna just bring that cloudiness up like that clean my brush more water and you you can see how it's starting to work see that guys i'm getting a cloudiness to that you also i primed this today before i checked that uh that needle i had it primed with steiner res white and i also uh cleared it with um krylon crystal clear I'm starting to use that a little bit more. I like it. Um, the only thing is that I don't like it in a, in a rattle can, so I need to start uh, figuring, you know, maybe um, decanting some of that, you know, so I can shoot it out of an airbrush. So you see what I'm doing here, guys? Now I want to get a hard line here, so I'm going to come in, and I wet my brush, and very carefully, you see what I'm doing? I'm establishing a line there and then I'll come in with this you know establish another line down here this is very easy to do guys you don't need a um, an art degree for it I've showed quite a few people how to do this um, some that were former members of the community So, you know, hopefully that, uh, you know, to pass it on. If you guys learn how to do this, if this is something you guys want to do, pass it on, man. You know, I was showing my grandson how to do this the other day. So, you see what I'm doing there? I'm starting to build that up. So, we're going to, I want it all to go one way. So, let's see. Let's uh, make this a little one here a little tighter. So we're going to go like this, clean my brush off, and then now once you got that line there, be careful. I should have went from the top bottom. So try not to mess up what you've already done. 
You want to keep that brush nice and wet. Keep that paint wet so you can move it around. The best thing that I have found to do this with is um, make sure you put a gloss coat to protect the underlying paint. You see how that's working, guys? I'll come in to get a little, little bit of more paint here. Now I want a hard line right here to come up just like that, a little bit more. If you guys got any questions, man, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Um, again, like I said, I'm no, I'm no expert, man, but I'd be more than happy to show you guys the little techniques that I do. You guys can refine them to work for you. Any way your painting style works. And then we'll come about here. We'll bring one like that. We'll bring that one across there. Clean that brush, wet it. You keep, you got to keep the paint wet at all times, guys. Keep it wet at all times. Keep, you know, so you can move it. You know, you got a little working time with acrylic. You just got to make sure you, um, you just move that paint around like that. So it doesn't dry on you because once it dries on you, that's it. You can't, you're not going to be able to move it around. So, so there's the beginnings. This is the base of what I'm going to do. Now, normally here I take, I'm going to off screen, I'm going to hit this with a blow dryer. All right, now normally what I would do with something like this here, hey George, normally what I would do with something like this here right now is I would seal it. So I lock in that. But you know, for uh, tutorial purposes and a quick live purpose, I you know you're not going to be able to do that. So now I want to get um, I don't know maybe some brown in there. So here's the brown. You're going to do the same thing with the brown as you did with the gray. You know you're gonna get a little bit on your palette. You don't need a lot. Just a little. Just a couple of drops. Now there's all kinds of colors, guys. You can use, you can do. Um, there's greens, there's uh, golds in there. There's uh, uh, brown, there's reds, there's, I mean, uh, tans. Um, you can. The marble comes in all colors, man. So there's no there's no right way or wrong way to do it. You know, you just uh, whatever you feel like uh, like doing, man. You know, what was that guy's name with the fro? You know, just make some happy, happy accidents. All right. All right. Here we go. Wet my brush. It's soaking wet. You see that? I'll come in, get a little bit there. Now I want some brown in here. So let's, uh, let's see. Let's start here. I'm going to add some brown. Just like that. Not a lot, just a little. And then you're going to do the same thing. See that? You're going to move that brown around just like that. I want some brown veining in there. There. There's my brown veining. I'll come in maybe here. Same thing. Get my paint wet. Bring that across. Bring this one up. Now, I'm moving the, the brush rapidly like this. I don't know if you guys can notice that. Because what I'm doing is that I'm forcing it up to give me those veins, just like that. And now I'm going to clean that. That's a little too dark. I don't want that there. So there's a brown vein. 
Now, you don't want that certain veins to go all the way across like that. The main color is the gray and the white up underneath. So you don't want this brown to take away from that gray. Uh, let's come over here maybe. Add a little bit here. Get a little thicker there. Get this out of my way. Just like that. Bring that that way. Wet it. And here we go. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Or do I need to get closer? Um, I'll bring another vein here. So like so. I still want that brown cloudiness in there, but I don't want this all over the place. I just want it in certain spots. But I'm using the, the leftovers, you can see, just to tighten up and remove, you know, so that white's not so bright. Um, let's come in here. I'm going to put one here. Are you leaving, honey? Yeah. All right. I love you, baby. Be careful. All right. Drive careful, mama. All right, so... Do that, and again, take off any excess. You just want that cloudiness in there. Just like that. You smooth that down a little bit. I'm gonna get that, it's too much brown in there. Get a little bit more water in there, just like that, so I can move that. There we go. Bring that around, work it. Take a little bit more brown. Let's go right, running alongside this one, like so, and then down, and then across, and there we go. Just do it like this, bring this across. I'm going to use this as a line too, so I'll just do that. Come up. Um, maybe add one right up in here. You notice I'm just going in a random pattern, so... And this brush is soaking wet. There's a lot of water on this brush. So. It's almost like you use like watercolors, guys. You know, you're, you're working the, the paint like you would a watercolor. Get a little bit more in here. And then we'll be done with the brown. Just like that. Um, we need some across here. And then across like that. Like so, and then last but not least, I'm going to add, I didn't get enough, I'm going to add a little right in here, like that. And then I'm going to run alongside that, that right there. 
just like that. So you see how we're doing it so far, guys? Okay, now I'm gonna use some green. Now I think I'm gonna use green paint. I don't wanna use the ink, guys, because the ink's gonna stain. And I don't want the ink to stain. I just want it to, um, uh, let me find a green, an ink. What is this one? This one is not what I'm looking for, but you know what? This might even work. Golden brown, that might work. So what are you gonna use? Uh, I'm looking for some green. Give me a minute here, sorry about that. I should have been ready with this one. I'm gonna use some um, Vertigy. This is a uh, Games Workshop paint here. Again, guy, wait a minute, I got green. What am I talking about? I got paint everywhere around here. Um, this is dirt, no, that's clear. I don't want it clear, I want green. Give me a second, guys, I'm sorry. I should have had that laid out and ready for you. Um, here, we're gonna use an Africa core from Panzer Aces. I'm gonna use this. So I got a green here. And I got a golden um, brown. Let me check some of these uh, comments. David uh, uh, Minnie, he says, does it have to be a gloss coat, Gil, or with a dull coat? You know, Minnie, I've done it with both, um, a gloss or a, uh, a dull coat. It, it'll work either way. As long as you keep that paint wet, you know, you're, as long as it's wet where you can manipulate it, a dull coat or a gloss coat will work. Um. <laughs> great technique, Gil. Looks great. Thank you, George. I appreciate that. Bob Ross, that was his name. Jonathan said the same thing. Maybe a touch closer if possible, Gil. Jesus, boy. There we go. How's that, John? Can you see that better? Thank you. Uh, Philip says he's got to go, but I'll catch it later. See you later, Philip. Uh, George Taylor says, check out Alma Tadena for the best marble ever painted. You're an artist, so I think you'll appreciate it. I will check that out, my friend. All right. I'm going to add some green. Not a lot. So I'm shaking this up. Um, and you see how wet my, my paint is right there. Can you, Is that better for you, John? No problem. Hey, don't worry about it, John. Whatever, you know, I'll accommodate, man. If, if I got to get a little closer, let me know. So there's some green. Again, I don't use a lot. Bro. Just a little bit. Piece like this. I, I know what your feet, you know, I got the, I got the eyeballs here too, Jonathan. Again, I'll clean my brush. It's wet. Get some uh, right here so I can use as a wash kind of thing. Now, green. Where am I going to add the green? Let's go here. I just want a little bit right there. Not a lot. Get that wet again. And let's move that green around. I'm going to go over that green with a brown. All I want is that little line right there, see that? And then I'll blend the rest of this in. And you notice I keep going, I got a little closer so you can't see what I'm doing off screen. There's a bowl there with water and I keep going into that bowl. So I'm just working that in, as you see me doing there. A Little bit more water, you can see the water dripping off that, see? So I'll keep that wet, come in. Now I'm gonna start taking it off. Just like so. Blend it into everything. There it is. So you got that. Grab a little bit more. Let's go right about, I don't know. Uh, here, let's try this one right here. We'll get a little green line in there. We'll wet it, get it nice and wet, move it around. Bring it up, a little bit more water. Just take a little bit off. That's what the sponge is for, guys. It's to uh, control how much water I've got on my brush. Now I'm going to start taking that off. Can you guys see that better that I moved in? Is it a lot better for you guys? Now I want that to you know to break up, 
but I also want it. You can, I don't know if you guys can see how it's tinting. The green is tinting this. I'll come in, get a little bit more. Let's go about here. You don't want to go crazy with the green, guys. Um, this is not green marble like I did on the other one. This one here, I just want a couple of, of, of uh, highlights of green in there. Now we'll go um, down here. Again, I don't want a lot of it. I just want a little. I'm going to work it. Get a little water on my brush. Clear it off and just start moving it in. Just like so. And you notice I keep going here after as I'm starting to come up, I come here and I just dab dab the excess off. Um let's go about here. Very carefully, give me give me a little line there. Tint up some of this. Take a little bit in here, just to give it a little little color. Come in here. Um, let's follow this one. Right there. Yeah, I don't like the way that looks. Now... If you guys have you guys have heard me talk about what I what I refer to as my gypsy brush, it's um this is a, a woman's makeup brush, and what it comes it comes like this. I got this at Target, and what I do is I, I nip the end of this off to give me that little round you know piece there. So what I do with with that is I wet it. And then I'll come in, and what I don't want, I'll erase it very gently, just like that. See that? As long as you cleared down at the bottom, and I'm blending it at the same time. So there it is. I just took it right off with that gypsy brush. So let's go back to some green here. Um, I'm going to add the green right in here to fix that booboo I just did. A wet brush, wet the paint, just do that, there it is, take off the excess that's here so it's not so, so dark, and there it is, marble is not perfect. So, you know, you don't have to worry about it being perfect. You just got to make sure it does have established lines that it follows. You just got to make sure you follow those lines, guys. And here we go. We're almost done. It's, like I said, it's just a quick um, how-to. 
You can get very intricate with this. All right. I'm going to add a little brown to this. And let's run one about here. Just like that. I'm trying to look up, forgive me if I'm not uh, talking much, I'm just trying to get this down to show you guys, I had a few things I wanted to talk about, you know, but I think I'm going to leave that alone because, well, you guys know, the drama, you know, we, we just, uh, so there, now I'm going to hit this with the blow dryer. And then I'll come in with my liner. Where's my liner? Get a little paint on there. Not a lot. And just in certain spots, like here, darken that line up. You want to give a couple of veins that come out. You got to be careful with this. You don't want to overdo the, the, the veining. And there it is, my friends, a quick how-to on how to do marble. Now, you can go back and, and, and you can, you know, I don't know, say um, here. I don't like the way that comes out. You can come in there, and as long as this is still wet, you can manipulate this. This is just a real fast, uh, I got a camera directly in front of me. But this is how you do it, guys. Um, yeah, Steve, I will. This is how you do it. It's, it's very simple. There's no, um, there's no magic to it. It's only what, what, you know, what you use, you know, what you can do with your, with your, um, your imagination and, and the paints. The key to this is make sure that when you're laying it down, when, you, when you're doing like say you're going to do that line there and you got your paint in there, you dip it in your water and you keep that paint, that brush loaded with water and you just move it and move it and move it. And then just keep, you keep a little paper towel next to you. So as you're moving it, you go like this, you know, you take off, you know, you, you take off the excess. I That's what I use this also for. I'll come in and I'll just reshape my brush with this. You know, it, it's, a, it's a wet sponge. So that's a quick way to doing it. You can get as intricate as you want. You can get as, you know, this is this is just, I mean, to me, this is a lot of work. There's more work that would be done on this. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how to manipulate that paint around to get that effect. 
So I hope this helps you guys out, man. I really do. Um, please, again, remember um, uh, to um, right here, my brother right here. He's in, he's in the house right now, Steve Sutton. You have scale model kit review. Guys, you know, subscribe to his YouTube channel and his Facebook page. You have David Sean, Mr. Mini Dreams. Hell of a brother, one hell of a car builder, you know. You guys check him out also, you know. Uh, the Basement Modeler on Facebook, on YouTube, and each and every one of you. Guys, I, you know, if you guys have your, your YouTube pages or your Facebook pages, please, by all means, put them here in the comments, you know. Drop me a message if you want me to, uh, to, to promote your channel a little bit more or what we can do to help you guys out. We're a community. We should all be together. We can leave all the gossip and the nonsense and all that shit to, 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 to schoolgirls. We don't need it in our community. So I hope this helped you guys. Anything else you guys need, you know, if I, if I don't know how to do it, brothers, I'll find you somebody that does. You know, it's like with cars. I don't know squat about them. So I go to uh, David Shaw and Mr. Mini Dreams if I need help, you know. Uh, tanks, I find an armor builder. Planes, I find somebody that does this. I'm a painter. I love to paint, but I don't know everything about it. So you guys have a great holiday weekend, man. Be good to yourselves. You know, be good to your families. Love your children. You know, I know some people were making fun of that uh, the other day when I did it. But love your children. Be good to them, you know. They're gifts from the creator. You know, leave the drama where it belongs to the queens and brothers. Paint a goddamn model, man. Peace.